here with Mike D'Amelia, head coach of the Lincoln baseball team as the Blue Tigers get set for the 2016 season. Coach, what are your goals for this year? Well, you know, after last year, you know, we had a real, real tough year. You know, it was a learning experience for me and the guys. Um, you know, I, I don't want to put a, a number of wins on or anything like that, but my biggest thing is that we're much more competitive, that we're in every series. You know, there was a couple of series last year, we just, we didn't have much of a chance. My biggest thing this year is that every, every game we play, we give ourselves a chance to win. It doesn't mean obviously we're not going to win every game, but, uh, you know, I hate to put too many expectations after a three-win season, but um, I feel good about where we are, but to, you know, we, we definitely have a ways to go still, but I, I think my biggest goal is just to be more competitive, and then when you are competitive, you're going to find a way to win more games, so I think that's my, my biggest thing with our guys, and then obviously to compete the whole game, and, you know, and, and to have a great attitude, and, you know, bust our rear ends, and, you know, do everything we can to win the game, so. Well, you had a couple of all my double A performers coming back in Caleb Davis and Trevor Schneiders. Uh, what have you seen from them and from some of your other returners? Well, Caleb in particular had a great fall. You know, Caleb, for as good a year as he had last year, he lacked a little bit in the power uh, department. You know, every three and a four hitter, we kind of want a little more out of him with that. But um, he made we made some adjustments with him and his approach and his, you know, a little bit of mechanics, mostly approach. And he's he hit, I think, five or six home runs in the fall and stuff. And, and that's really where we want him to be. Certainly, we don't want him to dip down and hit 250 rather than 340, whatever he hit. But if he can hit 340 and then add eight or nine home runs, that's where we want him to be. So we're really excited about Caleb. Uh, Trevor, same thing. I don't think quite has as much power as Caleb, but he's a guy we need to hit a few more extra base hits. And certainly on the mound, Trevor's going to be huge. Trevor actually is getting moved. Uh, he was our number one starter last year. We're actually moving him to, to the closer role. Because um, I feel like we have some starters that can get us there, and I still feel like he's our best arm. But I, I think if we get a chance to win a game, we're going to go to him. And uh, he proved last year he could compete in this league. And he had a couple of rough outings, but all in all, he gave us a chance to win every time he was out there. So we're really excited about both those guys. And then any of your other returners that uh, have made some strides during the offseason? Yeah, um, for sure. You know, the, the one thing about last year, as bad as it was, we only had two seniors on the team. So we had a lot of guys playing as freshmen and even some of our older guys really hadn't played much at the college level. So in particular, you know, Nick Lovell at shortstop, you know, he really struggled offensively last year, but we've seen him make kind of a jump. And I think he's become more def uh, more consistent on the defensive end. Dylan Walker, um, who, you know, I thought had a great year last year. I mean, he hit like 328, whatever it was. Just looking in these preseason workouts, um, I think his throwing arm's better, which that was his issue last year with, with the injury. Um, so it looks like he's back to full speed on that. And then offensively, he was good already. And I think he's made some strides. Colton Clark, um, a kid who at the beginning of the year, we almost made him a pitcher, pitcher only. Um, by the end of the year, he was our leadoff hitter. And uh, he had a great fall. I mean, he just absolutely... You know, made a huge transition from a year ago, and so we were looking for some big things out of him. And you know, we got Alex Ludwig behind the plate, who made some improvements. You know, Mason Price, another guy who was a young kid, you know, real big, strong kid. We look forward to hit some, you know, home runs for us. And he had some ups and downs, but this fall again, same thing. Had some power numbers, and uh, we're looking for him to to do some big things as well. And uh, Dylan Kaler is another guy who started a bunch of games last year for us, and he's kind of in a battle there at third base and shortstop for playing time, but uh, we feel like he's kind of uh, made some strides to get better too. Uh, Pitching-wise, uh, Tyler Roberts, the guy who we started quite a few games last year, very inconsistent, but he had a couple moments where he was really good, and this fall, uh, way more consistency, uh, consistency out of him, um, filled up the zone, um, you know, he's not an overpowering guy, but he's, he should give us a chance to win every time he pitches. Being, you know, with him being a true freshman, very mental, um, you know, he, he definitely lost confidence at times, but I feel like he's made strides, not only physically, but emotionally. And the guy, uh, Cam Massman, who, uh, a guy who was a walk-on, we took a walk-on tryouts, you know, I mean, he, I, I couldn't imagine he was ever going to have a huge role for us, and now I look at him and... He's going to be a steady middle relief guy, fills up the zone, same thing, just works his rear end off, and, and, and he's gotten better. And then finally, Caleb Thomas, kid who we're going to rely on at the end of our bullpen along with Trevor Schneiders, you know, had some great moments last year. But, uh, you know, I, I feel like that year of him pitching this league, he took some lumps, learned some lessons, and uh, I feel like he's going to be a big one as well. So. All right, and then you had a pretty big uh, recruiting class, brought in a lot of new players. Who are some of the new guys that might get in the lineup uh, pretty early in the season? 
or there's going to be quite a few of them. Uh, we brought 16 new guys, so we have 30 players, 16 of them uh, are new. You know, starting with pitching staff, our number one's going to be a kid named Zach Maskell. He's from Kansas City. He played at Southwest Iowa Community College. You know, another one who, when he first came in, he was kind of wild, kind of, you know, good stuff, but didn't quite know where he was going, and we've kind of tried to channel him in and, you know, teach him that, you know, especially in this league, how offensive it is. You're not going to overpower people. You know, he has good stuff, but if he relies on his command and getting ahead of hitters and things like that, he should be good. And uh, so we feel like he's going to be really good for us. Um, Cody Stegman is a, a transfer um, this year. He's coming off an injury, an ankle injury over the last summer, so we didn't get to see him in the fall, but in these preseason workouts, he's been really good. Kind of the same thing as Zach. Sometimes he tries to, you know, uh, you know, do too much. He tries to be perfect, and we're just like, hey, man, get a, you know, rather than try to strike every guy, let's get a ground ball shortstop, you know, or something like that. And, um, so he's he's really come along. Riley Cruz is a guy who uh, is a transfer from uh, Oklahoma Panhandle State. He just came at semester. Wasn't 100 percent sure what to expect of him, but his bullpen so far, strike thrower. He's going to be a you know possibly a four starter or a, a middle relief guy. And, and so we feel really good about him. He's going to again same thing. Give us a chance. You know he's not going to walk people. He's going to make you beat him. And um, so we feel really good about him. The other uh, pitcher I forgot to mention earlier was uh, Zach Moore, a uh, converted outfielder. Um, you know, he, uh, I kind of call him new because he was an outfielder last year, so I, he wasn't on my mind with uh, returning pitchers, but Zach's going to be another guy, same thing, strike thrower, competitive kid, and I, I think he'll give us a really good chance to uh, do well. You know, uh, behind the plate, we have a kid named Jackson Weaver, or Jackson Walker. we got Jackson Weaver as well. Uh, he's a transfer from Missouri State. Um, you know, he should start for us as a, as a redshirt freshman. Um, really good swing, throws well, really good receiver behind the plate. I mean, I think he could do some unbelievable things here. Third base, Zach Anderson is kind of our leader there. Another transfer from Southwest Iowa Community College. Um, you know, and you know, when he first got here, he was the first baseman. We, and towards the end, we put him at third base and did a heck of a job. We thought, I, I, I kind of made a mistake of not doing it earlier, but really good but you know he gives us a, a physical presence in the lineup you know a little bit inconsistent but a lot of power guys are but when he's right man he can really hit and another guy over there laban petzel uh, transferred from lincoln college in illinois kind of same thing when he's right he could be really good really good athlete over there and laban's a guy who can also play uh, second base too so he's, he's pretty versatile another guy uh, in, in the outfield now uh, jeffrey jackson and transfer from andrew college in georgia 6'5 runner, all the physical tools. You know, he's not necessarily the prettiest swing, not necessarily the most graceful player, but his physical ability is unbelievable. And uh, he had great fall, and, you know, I think he can make a huge impact for us. Um, also, true freshman uh, Mike Million from uh, CBC in St. Louis. You know, he's also a catcher, but we're probably looking more in the outfield with him. He's a good runner. Also plays in our football team, so athletically he's really good. and. I mean, I think he, he, the sky's the limit with him. The, fi the final newcomer is uh, Jake Walker, who's uh, actually Jackson Walker's brother. He's a transfer from Missouri State as well, and, um, but he's a kid who, you know, is a shortstop by trade, probably looking to go there in the future, if not this year when he comes back, but he can play multiple positions, but like his brother, can really swing the bat well, really good athlete. And, and finally, what's it gonna take for your team to be competitive? in a tough MIAA? Well, as I said earlier, you know, with, with the offenses in this league being as good as they are, it all starts with pitching, you know. And we're not, you know, last year our pitching numbers were not good at all. And we don't have to be the best pitching staff in, in the league. And, you know, that, that's an unrealistic goal. But the biggest thing is, is I've kind of, when I talked about the pitchers, is we have to make their team beat us. There were many games last year where not only did we get hit around, but we walk people, we hit people and things like that. And so I think everything starts with filling up the zone, you know, we've kind of, as our pitching staff, we've kind of, you know, made our mantra, we don't care how many hits we give up, we're just going to make the other team beat us, we're going to try to give up less extra base hits. At the end of the day, if they get 15 hits and 15, 15 or singles, we got a chance to win that game. You know, if we could just keep, you know, not, not walk people, you know, not hit people, and then, of course, keep, keep extra base hits to a minimum. Um, so I think that is the number one key, because I really feel like we're going to score some runs, Again, certainly we're not going to be the best offense in MIAA, but I feel like we're going to be competitive enough offensively that if our pitchers just give us a chance um, that we can, you know, they can hold the team to five or six runs, we got a chance to win that game. Um, and then, of course, defensively, you know, along with that pitching, of course, we have to be solid there. Um, I feel we have more speed in the outfield, so I feel like we can make plays there. 
I think we're more experienced in the infield. So I feel like pitching is our number one thing, and that's probably true with about every team. But I really think it's huge with us. And, again, we'll, we'll probably be last in the conference in strikeouts. Don't really care about that. As long as, uh, again, we make the other team beat us. At the end of the day, if we could, if we could throw strikes and, um, you know, and whatever happens, happens, we'll, we'll, we'll make the best of it. So, um, but I, I feel like, uh, you know, if, if we can be really good on that area, we're going to be tough. So. All right, good. Good luck this season. Thank you.